All right, Matt Pazuki, here we are, Metabolic no, Health Summit hey, 2024. And you kicked off the morning session with a, with a rousing talk Thanks, about man. your personal history. How did it feel to be up there in front of all those people, in front of these scientists? Nerve wracking. Yeah. Nerve wracking. Yeah, totally. Especially being at this crowd at Metabolic Health Summit where quite literally everyone I see who's speaking is a PhD or an MD. And I'm just this guy who I was sick and then did keto and cured himself. But yeah, it's just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, would you have ever, ever thought when you were going through your whole journey with bipolar disorder that you would be in this position to, to educate all these people who are researchers, like you're saying? No, of course not. Yeah. I mean, there was no, there was no cure. I assumed I was going to be medicated for the rest of my life. I assumed I was going to be sick for the rest of my life. I couldn't even imagine trying to help people get better from bipolar because I didn't know how to do it myself. I literally didn't know how to get better. So yeah, it's just crazy, but. So we hear that so much about feeling like there's no hope, like there's no road out, there's no way to get better. So, so I mean, what what's your advice to someone who feels that way? Yeah, so for someone who's feeling frustrated, I mean, ideally we give keto a shot along with training the metabolic dysfunction, the metabolic question, hopefully with a psychiatrist and a dietitian. But really, I mean, what's worked for me is managing the sleep and then taking on some other things as well in tandem with that, physical exercise, um, keto, and the connection and purpose in life. And it's a big picture, like a lot of things to sort out to fix metabolic health. I think starting with keto though, I mean, that's the best place to start. Yeah, but you bring up a good point that, you know, keto is a big part of it, but it's not where you start and where you stop. Yeah. Um, so again, tell us the main features or the main, the main um, things you focus on aside from keto. Yeah. So the things I focus on I like to think of them as the highest return on investment activities or lifestyle uh, changes to, for my metabolic health. And really the big three, of course, in terms of the pure brute force physiological changes are the ketogenic diet, as well as physical exercise, which for me means hard cardio and lifting weights, and then also sleep. And I would, I would extend sleep to circadian rhythm management, which is like blue light blocking glasses and morning sunlight, just to optimize that time at night. But then there are also things that aren't maybe direct physiological um, changes. Um, so things like purpose in life or connection or stress reduction or hanging out with other people. Um, you know, Dr. Palmer just talked and he was talking about how it's not just keto. Keto is wonderful, but it's not the end all be all for metabolic health and for mental health treatment. And I'm, there are just so many things that we can do that contribute to this. So I try to tackle the, the big ones, Brett. Yeah, well, thanks for being such a wonderful example and for uh, help educating everybody here at Metabolic Health Summit. Sure.